Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a permission handler for the user or the bot. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you want to find is you want to find for your message event. So I currently have a event handler. If you don't have an event handler, don't worry about it. Just go to index.js. Alright, in, in there, index.js, you should find something like this. Just got to find something like client.on message. Just find something like this and you should be good to go. Alright, once you found that, uh, you want to find your if command in here, somewhere even in here. So right above and everything, right above even the premium command, we're gonna uh, write the function. So it's just gonna be two lines, nothing too complicated. We're directly gonna check for the permissions and then, um, yeah, I'll show you guys. Um, all you need to do is if message.member, I don't know why it's lagging, but whatever, permission, this is the member the permissions dot has and then you can pass in command dot user perm or permissions whatever you want or if this is undefined or empty you're just gonna pass in an empty array and then we can just do return message dot channel dot send you need um you need uh you do not have oh my god i can't type have permission to use this command okay as simple as that we're going to create a new line so we can just uh duplicate another line here but for this we're going to change uh, message.member to client.guild wait let me just show you message.guild.me all right just change message.member to message.guild.me and change command.user permissions to command.port permissions. Alright, that's perfect. And then uh, I can see something over in here. So, oops, what is this? Um, we're gonna change you do not have permission to I do not have permission. So, I do not have permission. Alright, perfect. So, let me just show you guys how to use this. So, this is basically the user permission, the uh, member that is using the command needs. The permission that you're passing in in here or else it won't run all right and then this is for the bot okay pretty self-explanatory so yeah let's test it out in the ping command so let me just go to info and then go to ping all right i'll just test out the um user command first uh, so i can do something like user permission so that okay i don't have any roles so i shouldn't have any permissions so let me just try to why 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 ping and it should say that you do not have permission to run this command but if i try to run it on my main account so let me just do that real quick all right i run it and yeah it works so i can as you can see there um if i don't have the administrator permissions which is stated in the command it will send this message so now let's just try out the permission handler for the bot all right so once you're in visual studio code you just want to change user permissions or you can actually have both of them so you can do something like this bot permissions all right and then you can pass it administrator or manage message manage messages whatever you want so let me just do the same thing i'm just going to do administrator all right save it and let's just test it out again all right so let's just test this out so if i try to run wiping on my main account with administrator permissions it should it, it should be able to run so let's just test that out all right uh the reason is because the bot currently has the bot role which contains the administrator permission so let me just remove the role real quick okay i removed the role and let's just try to run this again All right, I'll run the command. As you can see here, I do not have permission to run this command. So this is really easy to implement in your project. So yeah, that should be it for this video. If you want to see more Discord.js tutorials, stay tuned on the end. You should see a playlist that you can click on. All right, have a nice day. See you again next video. Bye.